one. Brother Kabad back now, GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to our apostles and elders and great mills. So for teaching us this truth, go into the Bible and rule well. Hey, stop right there, real quick. Our sincere argument with what four corners of the earth push this truth to. Let me say this real quick. Let me give a double honors to the elders of the great millstone for the work that they've done throughout the decades, right? This is not about GMS as a camp. This is not a camp bashing. However, this is going to be corrected and measure against those in this area that have put these videos together, right? So none of you other brothers in GMS, a salute to y'all, right? Much love to you brothers throughout the four corners of the earth for the works that y'all doing. You know, in sincerity and in truth, right? But there is not a lot of truth with what these brothers done here, and it needs to be corrected and measured. That's what we're gonna do right here. We fear no man but Yahweh, while Yahweh shot. Understand that, okay? Understand that. That's who we bend the knee for. That's who we go out the war for, and that's who we stay at home for. We ain't leaving nothing at home. Understand that, okay? So. Roll the tape, brother. Rolling. Shalom. Brother Kabad back now. GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth, according to the Bible and rule well. A nutshell of one honor, sincere argument, what four corners of the earth pushed this truth through diligence and sincerity and charity. And not shall one life sincere followers, believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not say it's the word, but do us as well, you men, women, and children, are hopefully elect. Shalom. Uh, <clears throat> and this um, title's lesson is going to be uh, You live by the sword, you're going to perish by it. All right. And this, that's the Lord, the words of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And as you can see on the screen here, one of the um, Israelite camps, camps here, and. Um, in the Raleigh area here, you got one of their speakers um, holding a, uh, uh, they got a blinky, all right, on, on the side of them, man. And, uh, you know, that's nothing that, um, it's nothing wrong with owning a, a blinky, a sword, okay, the modern day swords, the GUN, along with the ICBM missiles, okay. But um, it's nothing wrong with owning one, right? But you don't need to take it out and, and, and be out preaching the word with it, man. All right, and brothers have done lessons on this. I know, uh, uh, brother Hawaii and uh, the brother Ara. All right, did uh, lessons on it, and, that, and other um, apostles and brothers did um, lessons on it. So I'm just gonna give my spiritual two cents on it, and um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right, um, I'm looking up a quick precept real fast. So before he gets his precept, before we get um, started, yeah, before he, this ain't gonna be a long lesson. Just... Very good. We know it ain't gonna be long because all y'all regurgitated the same information. So let me get Isaiah twenty-eight and ten. Somebody let me get Psalms one nineteen, where uh, verse one thirty-four, real quick. <laughs> shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukahakwadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth, to the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, Shalom, right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So... I stumbled across this video last night, wasn't looking for it or whatever, but um, I and I'll show you how I came, got to that. But you see the title, Aboring Your Brothers and Proper Gun Ownership for Dummies. What does that have to do with you taking a gun out there and reading the Bible? Why does the gun have to be seen on your waist, on your hip? Does that give you a, a sense of security? Does that make you feel more invul invulnerable? 
the gun could you could have the gun at camp in a bag. It could be in a knapsack right there next to the sign that you got. You 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 don't you could have it in your in your vehicle. The, the the gun don't have to be on you when you read it. And that's all the brother said. The brother didn't say get rid of the gun. The brother didn't say you couldn't own a gun. The brother didn't say it was a sin for you to have the gun. It's not a, it's not spiritual at all for you to have a gun while you're reading the Bible. And so I listened to it. I sent it to a couple of different brothers or whatever. And 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 we know y'all going y'all going to keep still keep carrying the gun or whatever. But you can't say the brother didn't make the brother didn't call you no dummies or boring. So what you going with a boring mean hate Hate your brothers? Hating your brothers? You guys, man. You guys, man. You guys. You guys, man. You guys. You guys really don't understand the scriptures, man. Y'all really just don't understand the scriptures, man. It's a spiritual thing. You a fish, you men. What, you gonna scare the fish? <laughs> you gonna scare the fish? This is what you gonna do? John. 18 and 36. Yeah. John 18 and 36. Yahweh Shai answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. He talk about that's who we go to war for and this and this. It's a spiritual battle, man. It's a spiritual battle. What do you mean going to war? He going, I'm not going to play all that video. I can't even listen to that shit no more. Then he goes, he goes, um, camp. A camp means, a camp is war. A camp is this. And Yahweh Shai, he knew, he knew he had the sword on his hip. He didn't tell him to get rid of it when he cut the guy's ear off. He just told him to put it back in his sleeve or whatever. <coughs> My throat from yesterday, Salakia. But, you know, he, he like the bro like I said, the brother didn't tell you to get rid of the gun. You just don't need it out there teaching the Bible. How hard is the how hard is that to understand? Yeah, I wish I answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Yeah, man. This is not, this is not, this is not his king. This is not our kingdom. Esau's blessing is that, and, and, and Esau is the most carnal nigga in the world. His blessing is the sword. So you can't tell me that having a gun on your hip don't put a certain type of perspective on you. I was in the military. I, I know what walking around carrying a gun or uh, uh, whatever, I know how that, shit, I know how walking around in the hood in Brooklyn with a gun on you, it put a different spirit on you, and you lying to say it don't, you look, you a liar, you're not being honest if you say it don't, so let me show you how I got to this though, got to this video, let me show you how I got to this video, <laughs> Like I said, I was my I wasn't looking. I I I, I ignores all of the other camps. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I ignores all of the other camps. I ignores all of the other camps. See, look, it look it it because this knucklehead right here can't call himself King Ephraim. It is the fucking knucklehead, right? Look look what he posts. Hey, come check out this live scoffing and false claims and judgment. He had a gun on his hip. He, he had a gun on his hip. What's false and scoffing? He had a gun on his hip. Judgment dealt swiftly, right? So I respond to him. I go, look, I'm not in GM, GMS. I listened to the one brother lesson because it was short. I listened to around 20 minutes of this. The brother from GMS is still right. Them brothers made excuses. Bottom line, you don't need a gun to teach. It's not that difficult to grasp. So then he goes, did you listen to the rebuttal su re supply uh, or whatever? And, and my response to that was, what did I say? Let's see what I said. 
I said, a two-hour video? Please, man. I heard. All I heard was excuses. You don't need a gun on your waist while you're reading the Bible. You can't even have it in a bag in your car. But you guys not going to listen. Continue what y'all doing. Right? That's the one response. And then I just wanted, want y'all to see how I get to doing this lesson. And I slept on it so I wouldn't even get upset. So I wouldn't be, you know, ain't a guy, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, but it's not a sin either. Did I say it was? Did he say it was? It's the wrong spirit to be in out there with a gun on your waist. It's the wrong spirit. Hey, you block. Yeah, I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm done with you. Yeah, I'm done with you. Hey, you just, you, these, this is how I got to that video. This is how I got to that video. So he's blocked. We moving on. So that's how I got to that video. It wasn't like, like I said, you, Oh, you GMS, you GMS guys, y'all look to go camp banging. No, I don't look to go camp banging. Man, look to go camp banging. You out there, I see I see you going at the brother. The brother was right. The brother is 100% correct, man. This is not the, um, our, our Lord's kid. This is not our world. This is not our rest. Matter of fact, let's get that. This is not our rest, man. So you going to force, you going to force it with the gun? You going to make it your rest? Because shit, come fuck with me. <laughs> I got my blicky on my wrist or my waist. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart for it. This is not our rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Yeah. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink. He shall even be the prophet of this people. Yeah. This this guy, man. This is not our rest, man. This guy out here, a prophet trying to preach to you with a gun on his waist, man. You go up to ask him a question, he got a gun on his waist. Come on, man. I remember the, the one video where the dude said, um, the dude said, Asked the one Sakari dude to the Edomite that was give, heckling him or giving him a hard time. He asked him, you know, do you want to die today? You can't tell me that having a gun on your waist don't put a different kind of spirit on you. Then you chapter 2 and 44. And in the days of and and in the days of these kings shall the most high of heaven set up a kingdom. Which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. We supposed to wait on the Lord's kingdom, man. We supposed to be waiting on the Lord, man. We don't supposed to be we we don't we supposed to be out there preaching about the kingdom to come, about the wonderful, the wonderful thing it is to be in an Israelite. The wonderful thing that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai chose us above all other nations. How we how we dealing with what we dealing with now? We gotta suffer through what we suffering now to make it into the kingdom, man. Where's your faith at? Zephaniah three and eight. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, we supposed to wait on the Lord, man. We supposed to be waiting on the Lord, man. We supposed to be waiting on the Lord, period, man. Period, man. Period. We supposed to be waiting on the Lord. So I don't care what y'all talking about, owning a gun. Shit, I got a gun. I had a gun before I came into the truth, a shotgun. Ain't never, look, it ain't never been loaded. It's collecting dust, and it'll never, it'll never even make it into my car. It'll never, it'll never be at the camp with me. I don't need to have it at the camp with me. Shit, I've been thinking about pawning it, selling it, brand new. 
<laughs> I don't need what I needed for at the camp. Why I needed for at the camp? Why I needed for at the camp to put the or or hand gonna have on my waist where it's seen? Come on, man. Making excuses, Jake. You making excuses. You making excuses and you going off, man. Matthew 26 and 53. Was it 26? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew 56 and um, 26 and 52. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into its place, for all they that take up the sword shall perish by the sword. How hard is that to get, man? And so even if you say, oh, well, he just said what he said. He just said put it up. He didn't say get rid of it or whatever the case may be because uh, he, he was walking around. He was walking around with his sword on him and everything like that. What, what that got to do with you? <laughs> Jake be trying to put himself on a level, man. You be try, you try to put yourself on a level with the men, the apostles, the men that walked around with Yahweh Shai, man. <sighs> ridiculous, man. Ridiculous, man. Let's go. Let's let's get off of that, man. Just get off. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 15, 24. We ain't even. Let's get, let's get off of that. Jake, Jake just he ain't gonna listen. Y'all gonna do what y'all do. And it, like I was telling my lady before I, I got ready to do the lesson, I said, it ain't about them. This is about the elect. This is about the sheep telling the sheep that this don't. This ain't the spirit that you're supposed to be in. And when you looking for men to get a spiritual thing, get, a, get spiritual understanding from, these kind of carnal men out there teaching, you're not going to be able to get all of this because the Lord not going to give him all of the answers. The Lord not going to give them all of the answers. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 22. 19. Quench not the spirit. <laughs> Quench not the spirit. <laughs> Quench not the spirit. You don't think that having a gun on your waist, reading the Bible is quenching the spirit a little bit? Despise not prophesying. Oh, y'all all say the same thing. That's all y'all do. Regurgitate the same. The scriptures say that ye all speak the same thing. The scriptures will literally say that. <laughs> the scripture literally say that. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And so when the scriptures say that you're going to have to discern, you go out there and you see it, you want to um, learn from an Israelite camp and you go up to a park where you got ISUPK, they over there got Edomites kissing their boots. And then you come to this camp and they got guns on their hip and they all carnal as hell and they justifying it. He even started talking about full metal jacket later on. And I'm not bearing false witness. Go ask the brother Arrows of Indignation. He called me last night talking to me about the video. They talk about full metal jacket. They just, all they did was excuses to justify them having a gun on their hip. Have the gun. You can have a gun at the camp if you put it in a bag. It don't got to be seen, Jake. It don't got to be seen. But back to it, you run into ISUPK, and then you see the GMS, the brothers from Riley GMS down there. Hey, you better walk past them two camps and go to um, Riley GMS if you want to get the, the, the true understanding of the scriptures, man. You better go to Riley GMS, man, because these guys out here, they justifying, they justifying the wrong shit, man. Isaiah chapter um, 5 and 20. We ain't going to go too much longer. Let me see how long I want. Yeah. A couple more. Three more scriptures. Four more scriptures. We get out of here. Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. You see, the, the the going back to the little comments. Y'all seen the comments? I didn't. I wasn't disrespectful. I wasn't rude. 
and what I said made sense. And at the end, what he do? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Yeah, that's that. Cause y'all stupid. Cause y'all stupid. Y'all stupid, man. Cause y'all stupid, man. Y'all stupid. Out there with with Jacob's trouble about to hit. Esau looking for reasons to um to to come after us. Salakia, yeah, hold on. Shalom, brother. Let me call you right back. I'm I'm about to finish up this lesson. I call you right back. That's the brother Karab right there. That's the brother Karab right there. <laughs> That's the brother Karab right there. Hey, you you know Esau looking for a reason to to um to um to come down on us to to demonize us and y'all helping to give him a, a help helping to give him a um a, um some good reasons, man. These guys, man. These guys. First, Second Corinthians six and um, Second Corinthians six and three. Giving no offense of anything that the ministry not be not blamed, but in all things approving yourselves as ministers of the Most High, in much patience, in much affliction, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes. In imprisonment, in tumults, in labors, in watching, in fasting, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by the armor of righteousness, by the armor of righteousness <laughs> of the right hand and on the left. By honor and dishonor, by evil report, good report, as deceivers and yet true. Yeah. You supposed to be ready for these things, man. You supposed to be ready for these things. Because you're going to have wicked. You're going to have um, false um, false prophets. It's all in the scriptures. False prophets all over the place, man. So you're going to have the false prophets working on the left-hand side, the 501c3 crew, the carnal crew, the guns crew. And then you're going to have the true um, men of the Lord, GMS, um, prophets of Babylon, um, saints of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, men of valor. Brothers like myself, brothers like the brother Obadiah, Azan Amath. Mahagan ha Hamath out there, the brother in Saginaw. You got the brothers out there in um Texas El Paso. You gonna have plenty of brothers out here doing the work, man. In truth and sincerity. And you and he started, oh well, this is you know, and um do I wanna give the this is not that GMS and double honors, and then he'd start taking shots. Why reading precept must be upon precept, right? Line upon line. Do I get I get understand through the precepts I get understanding. What that got to do with the brother wearing a gun on his waist, man? That shit remind me of a two-hour video. That two-hour shit he did remind me of the lesson um <laughs> that um Naquam did. The same damn thing. A five-hour lesson on the mark of the beast. You do a two-and-a-half-hour lesson justifying how and why you should have a gun. Please, man. Please. You bugged out, man. Bugged out, man. Bugged out. All y'all with them guns on. You can have a gun. Why do it need to be seen? Why do it need to be seen? Don't fuck with me. That's what that's saying. <laughs> Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep. In the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpent and harmless as doves. Scriptures already say we gonna be persecuted, or whatever the case may be. And you think that your gun gonna stop what the scriptures say is gonna take place? That's what you think? You got another way of doing it? Well, I'm not gonna be persecuted. I'm gonna come out here, and ain't nobody gonna fuck. Me, I'ma do. I'ma. I call myself doing the will, doing the will of the Lord. But I'ma make sure that the things that's written in the scriptures ain't gonna happen to me. <laughs> Jake is bogged out. I tell you, Jake is bogged out, man. Three. 
two more, three and fourteen. Second Peter three and fourteen. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in, of him in peace without spot and blameless, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother and Paul also, according to the wisdom giveth unto him, have written unto you, as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the, the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Yeah, man. Yeah, 17. Ye therefore, beloved, Seeing ye know these things before, beware, lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Yeah, man. Yeah. And and what's, what was Esau's blessing? The wicked? Esau's blessing was the sword. That's what the wicked, the Bible calls the wicked Esau, his blessing was the sword. So why would you want to go out there with the spirit of, in the spirit of, I got my sword with me? Why would you want to go out there with that spirit on you, man? Why would you want to do that? Because you carnal. You carnal. You not spiritual. We gonna close out with that one. Cause you carnal and not spiritual. That's why you doing that. It's not 14, it's one. I think 27. Lock here. I just looked it up too. Oh, I meant first coming. There you go. Now we better. There we go. It's a lock here. Let's go. First Corinthians 2 and 10. But the Most High hath revealed them unto us by the Spirit. For the Spirit search of all things. Yea, the deep things of the Most High. Is a gun the spiritual? Is a gun spiritual. Okay. I'll wait. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world which is carrying a gun while reading the Bible. Now, we have received receive not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of the most high that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the recoquidash the holy spirit teacheth comparing spiritual things with spiritual comparing spiritual things with spiritual but the natural man receive them, not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Thumbs down for my comments. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are, excuse me, this like it, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judge of all things. Yet himself is judged of no man. Yeah, man. For he who he, for who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of anointed Hamashiach. Yeah. This is this is not spiritual at all, man. Go on the camp with your gun, reading, reading the scriptures, reading the scriptures while you out there teaching is not spiritual, man. I don't care how you cut it. You can have the gun in the bag and all that. A gun needing to be seen and showed on your waist while you at camp. Call yourself being a spiritual man reading the Bible. It's not spiritual at all.
It's not spiritual at all. So this is a rebuke of Yahweh's cut camp cutting crew. Even in that Yahweh's camp cutting crew. Y'all are going off, but go ahead and continue to do what y'all do. We as teachers supposed to do what? Mark them that cause division. So with that one, we're going to close out all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at GMS that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations unto the remnant, men, women, children, Remain spiritual out there. Remain spiritual out there. Me too. That's why I waited to do this lesson today. Instead of doing it last night. Kwam Yashirala. And a Bible bow. Baraka Thumb family. Shalom.